In Manila, good deeds come in paper bags. A company called Human Nature sells organic cosmetics whose production helps the poor in the Philippines. Anna Maloto Wilk explains the positive impact of her customers' purchases. For instance, the support of schools in the south of the country, where until recently armed battles were still being fought. It um, actually pays the public school teachers for for the for the community, so that the the young um, boys and girls will no longer grow up to be um, soldiers, and they won't grow up to be um, child soldiers in, in, involved in the conflict. Human Nature now sells its products in 50 shops in the Philippines and on the internet. The social component is one sales argument, but not the only one. The social entrepreneur and her husband Dylan forego big profits. Their business model is organic cosmetics and personal care products for people who otherwise couldn't afford them. Training, we can give them free marketing. Yes, we're not the first in the market to get into natural products, but the ones who were before us were all super expensive, like 10 times the price of the shampoos that you would buy from the supermarket. Um, so we thought that if you really wanted um, us to be a natural alternative, a real alternative for people to buy more environmentally sound um, products, then we have to make it reachable for people because the price will be a barrier for them. Human Nature works with Gawad Kalinga, a Philippine-based poverty alleviation movement. Now, thanks to Human Nature, many families are earning an income and improving their standard of living. Along with two of her neighbors, Ophelia Gomez sews toiletry bags. She lives two streets away so she can work and look after her children at the same time. I like working here, not only because of the money, but also because I know human nature does a lot for our area and for Filipino farmers. <laughs> at this organic farm in Bulacan province, lemongrass is cultivated for mosquito repellent creams. The methods have been borrowed from those of large farms in India. Anna Maloto Wilk pays farmers a fair price for their products. We choose to grow citronella here, although we're still uh, experimenting and learning how to do it as well as um, India. But um, it can be more expensive to buy locally at the moment, but we foresee, we envision that we can be as big as India if we just learn how to um, grow it more efficiently. Back at the company, even jobs as packers in the central warehouse are sought after because human nature pays its workers double the usual wage. That makes the company one of the most popular in the country. If I'm not satisfied, 45 days or two months is enough for me. But here, since 2009, until now, I'm still here. So what's Anna Maloto Wilk's motivation? I came from the conventional way of doing things already, and I've done that, and I just didn't feel like it made me completely happy in the same way with Dylan, that he's been successful as a traditional businessman, but it just didn't answer all the questions that he had, and it, made, it didn't make him fulfilled. So I think we, we still get to do business because this is what we were trained to do and this is what we're passionate about, but it also answers the other questions in our lives and makes us feel more meaningful in doing what we do. With their organic cosmetics business, Anna and Dylan's long-term goal is to join other social enterprises and help lift 7 million people in the Philippines out of poverty.